And just like that, the next episode has begun. Welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations 2. I'm your host, Mega Shadow Fist. I think of video games, I think of commentary. And when we last left off, we were, um, what? what? Okay, anyway, just check on here. When we last left off, we were cross-examining a, um, whatchamacallit here. And we're trying to prove that there's a contradiction in our picture somehow. The president raises his fist in the air. The atmosphere here is boiling to a fever pitch. The hair and justice shall be brought down upon all evil. Bang, bang. Okay. Judging from the bullet holes, the shooter probably stood on the left side of the audience area. Well, he's pointing that way, but I don't see how that contradicts anything. Three foes from before, during and after the incident. Touch the check button for details. Okay, that's before. Hmm. There's a contradiction in one of these photos. Do we see him anywhere? Maybe he's like one of the people in this photo that I just can't seem to see. The bodyguard stops seeking information, check the check button for details. Uh, trash can two shots have been fired. A laser pointer is attached. Inside is stained with blood. The red hooded figure's left arm is injured. Hold on. Let's look at the picture. Let's look at the picture again. Check. I don't think we can tell from the shot, can we? I was trying to see if maybe... Well, let's just present the camera data and see if that does anything. Nope. Honestly, I'm not Honestly, I'm not sure, but I'll present this! Mr. Edgeworth, is it really okay to present evidence you're not sure about? In times like this, maybe you should pull back, sir. Hmm. Yes, that's right. I didn't mean to go this far. It's a shame. Well, you should just accept your mistake, your mistake, and try again. <laughs> Not good. But photo shows the chief, Mr. Payne, the person in the red hood, and this was taken during the president's speech. I should think this over. The chief, Mr. Payne. The person in the red hood. Do I have evidence that contradicts this photo? The tape recorder? I guess? Probably not. It, oh, actually, yeah. I don't, I don't see the contra- like, I thought there might be something there, but I don't see it. Maybe the game will explain it. It can't be! There's a contradiction between the photo and the tape. It seems you've noticed. Mr. Edgeworth, what's going on? What's going on? There's a person missing from this photograph. Huh? Who is it? Yes, it's rather strange. Someone who should be there was not. The person who should be in this photo is... The person who should be in this photo is, uh, Nicole Swift. Huh? Miss Swift? Why would you say that? Mr. Payne's voice is recorded on, on Miss Swift's tape. He was whispering quietly with the chief prosecutor. 
That isn't from the folks standing in front of me. Wrong, wrong accent. <clears throat> that wasn't from the folks standing in front of me. I reckon it was two older men. They kept on whispering to each other. It seems Miss Swift was near Miss Payne when she recorded the speech. <laughs> but she isn't anywhere in this photo. That is correct. Now, Mr. Pro now, Mr. Prosecutor, here's the one you should be pursuing. <laughs> Nicole Swift, would you mind giving us your testimony? Come on, it feels weird when you talk all formal like that. It's fine, I ain't got nothing to hide. Or does she? Miss Swift's testimony. It ain't like I stay in one spot while I was recording. I was moving around the audience area, shuffling here and there. I reckon this picture must have been snapped at a different time to my tape recording. The audio- okay. We already know the contradiction here. So quit making that scary face! It ain't what you- it ain't what you think! Miss Swift's tape recorded a- Miss Swift's tape recorded a conversation between my colleagues. Mr. Payne and the Chief Prosecutor. Why would Nicole be lying? That would mean... It'd mean Nicole Swift to the assassin, pal! Y'all gotta be kidding me! It ain't... I ain't done nothing like that! Be that as it may, however, there is a contradiction in your testimony. Huh? I don't reckon so, no sir! It appears I must reveal this contradiction with evidence. Miss Swift's testimony rebuttal. It ain't like I stayed in one spot while I was recording. That may be true, but you know what? We're going to save this game, and we're not going to suspend play because this isn't the end of the recording session just yet, unless something happens, knock on wood. Uh, continue. I turn about target beginning from save point. Yes, please. It ain't like I stayed in one spot while I was recording. You were moving around while you were recording. Why were you doing that? Huh? What do you mean, why? Surely when recording a speech, it is best to remain still. That's... Well, you know the importance of covering a story from every angle? I wanted to convey the living, breathing ev event in print. Yes sir, you betcha! If you were moving around, I doubt your tape would have picked up anything coherent. Well, it's like, like, it's like I done said. I was moving. <laughs> For some reason, this kind of sounds like Jerry Seinfeld to me, like a southern Jerry, slightly southern Jerry Seinfeld. I was moving around the audience area, shuffling here and there. Here and there. Could you be more specific, such as the side you were on? When I say here and there, it means just that. It was all that. It was all about that place. You couldn't swing a dead cat in that crowd. You expect me to remember where I was? Could you at least remember if it was the left or the right side? You couldn't swing a dead cat. That's an interesting saying for a figure of speech. Left? I reckon. <laughs> couldn't swing a dead cat. <laughs> I'm gonna start using that. The person in the photo is also on the left side. Is this just a coincidence? No, actually, strong side, left side. Strong side, left side. Anyway. I reckon this picture must have been snapped at a different time than my tape recording. So you're saying it is logical that you can't be seen in the photo? Yep, I was near the prosecutor when his voice got recorded. But I reckon this picture must have been taken when I was far away, no doubt about it. Ain't nothing wrong here, far as I can see. So you're saying that the photo and the recording were taken at different times? Darn tootin', it ain't about the equipment, it's all about the timing. What if they were both taken at the same time? If I can prove that, her entire testimony will collapse. So quit making that scary face, it ain't what you think! Scary face? The way I speak to others is not intended to come across as intimi intimidating. Then why don't you try relaxing a bit more? I mean, I have the same thing, I, I've been known to look rather intense. Even though I'm really not, like, I'm just, I'm just, you know, just normal, but people are like, oh, wow, that guy wants to, like, murder-stab me. MURDER-STAB! I've told that story before, not in this series. But it's just, you know, I used to, back in 
high school, I used to row crew, and there is a kid who, um, well, you know, he was, he was, um, interest, he was an interesting fellow, anyway, like, he, uh, but anyway, like, one thing that he, like, he murder stab, he, that was the thing he said, and just, uh, anyway, you make that face when you put all that tension in your brow. No matter what you do, always do it with a smile. Don't you agree? I am searching for the criminal who attacked the president. This is no laughing matter. Say the prosecutor with a grin on his chin like the Ch Cheshire Cat, end quote. What frumious, what frumious nonsense. Frumious, that's a dictionary word. I should show her what, I re what a really scary face looks like. Nicole seems rather aloof about all of this. Still, she just doesn't seem like the kind of person to tell harmful lies. I agree that she doesn't seem like a person with ill intent, but... If that's the case, there must be something even worse troubling her. In any case, Miss Swift's movements have been recorded on that tape. Surely I have evidence that sheds some light on this. It ain't like I stayed in one spot, I was moving around the audience there, shuffling here and there. I reckon this picture must have been snapped at a different time to my tape recording. Okay, so we're gonna present the uh, tape recorder again. If you don't, don't mind, if you don't, don't mind. Miss Swift, a reporter shouldn't lie. I ain't lying, I'm an honest journalist! Perhaps, but there's no denying that the, per that the photo and the recording were taken at the same time. That's so, and what makes you say that? The truth lies in these photos. The answer lies in the heart of battle. This photo could only have been taken at the same time as your recording. Which spot shows that this was taken at the same time as a recording? Can you see the president with his fist raised in the air? What about it? Miss Swift, might we, might, might we hear your tape one more time? Nuh-uh. You ain't gonna hear a word way you been treating me. Would you rather we charge you with obstruction of justice and seize it from you? Uh, fine, you win. I'm no match for you, Mr. Prosecutor. The question is, during which part is, of his speech did the president raise his fist? No matter what, no matter what sort of heinous criminal organization there is, I will not allow them to exist. The president raised his fist in the air. The atmosphere is boiling to a fever pitch. Aha! Raise his fist straight from the horse's mouth, sir. This tape is recorded the moment the president raised his fist overhead. Then that means... Nicole not being in this photo is really strange. Oh, but she is in the photo. Right here. The person in the red hood. It was you, Nicole Swift. There's a bear trap there. Interesting. You're the real assassin, aren't you, pal? That ain't so. I, I, I ain't never worn that red raincoat. Hmm. This red raincoat in question belongs to. We can say it's either it either belongs to uh, Nicole Swift or neither of them. We'll say Nicole Swift for now. Nope. The person in the red hood is Miss Swift. And so, the owner of the raincoat must be... Miss Swift! It can only be you! Oh, but does that young lady have an injury? I wonder. Huh. I wonder... What do you mean, pal? Have you forgotten about the blood stain in the raincoat? He's right. The right sleeve for the button to run off a stain with blood. Hmm. Neither of them. Okay, so actually, well, okay. the rain coupon is neither Miss Swift nor Miss Doe. Then, whose is it? Hmm. Don't you get it? It can only belong to one person. I don't get it. Who is that person, sir? Wait. I like to take back what I just said. If I didn't know better, I'd say this was your first day on the job, Mr. Prosecutor. I should remember the details of Mr. Doe and Ms. Swift's testimonies. 
especially the num numerous things we found out about the, the ra that raincoat. Okay, so it is Mr. It is um, Shelly the Killers, because like, what I was thinking was like, you know, since everything was like shifted, there is another. I, I I don't know. I'm just I'm just too used to like insane stupid plot twists in this series, so I just assume it's the least logical solution out of the three. Anyway, John Doe. The raincoat's owner is Mr. Doe. That much has been proven. You are wearing you are wearing something else, a different red hood. You mean there were two red hoodies, sir? Mr. Doe's last testimony was true. But we didn't find any other red raincoats. What Mr. Doe saw was a red hood, not a raincoat. Miss Swift, what was it you told us earlier about your parka? Hmm? Oh, you mean when I said I ain't worried about it getting all dirty? It's reversible, so all I gotta do is turn it inside out and... Ah! As I thought... Mr. Edgeworth, the inside of her parka is... Red! Indeed. And during the incident, she was using that sign. What? Hey, pal, what's the what's the big idea? You're wrong. I've been wearing it like this whole like this the whole day. Well then, would you allow me to examine your parka? What are you expecting to find? We know it was raining prior to the president's speech. I believe you said earlier. Well, I don't use raincoats or umbrellas. Come rain or snow, all I need is my trusty parka. If you really didn't turn your parker inside out, then the inside should be dry. Hang on a minute, I ain't taking off this heavy backpack and putting it back on again. Sorry, but can't we do this another time? You think you can fool Mr. Edwards with that, pal? Uh, um, mm. Alright then, pal. If we're really wrong, prove it. Show us the inside of the parka. I, it wasn't me. I ain't no assassin. Miss Swift, if you want me to believe that, then you need to cooperate with us. Will you please tell us why you wore the red side of the parka? I'm sorry, Mr. Prosecutor. I, I have my reasons, honest. I'll tell y'all everything. Just quit bullying me. Whose voice was that? Hold on a sec, it's a little too early for the end game. Oh, it's uh, Mr. Peter Russo here. Just kidding, this isn't House of Cards. But I'm gonna keep this voice though, cause why not? Hey, you're the fancy suit. Actually no, 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 that's too similar to um, um, Dr. Krabs' voice. Not to be confused with Mr. Krabs, um... Hey, you in the fancy suit. Haven't you been jumping the gun the gun ever since you opened and say open and move? This man was in case photo. Well, I guess I should introduce myself first. My name is I'm still trying to figure out Oh oh Okay, Metal Gear Metal Gear! Metal Gear <sighs> Okay, that's gotta be a direct reference to MGS3, Metal Gear Solid 3. Horus Knightley. So this guy's the actual murderer, I'm assuming. Anyway. But how did he murder if he was on the stage, you're wondering? The answer is quite simple. There were two shots. There are two, uh, two guns, right? He has a gun, there's another gun. Someone from the left side fired at the other thing, maybe as a warning shot, and he was the one that shot the president, maybe. Is what I'm guessing. That's 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 my that's that's my hair-brained idea for the moment. Anyway, Akrapa, see you guys in the next episode.